Hey guys, Bluefy back here with another video. So today is me another vlog sort of thing. Um, but yeah, basically I'll give you a brief overview of what we're doing today and then we're just gonna go out and do that sort of stuff. But yeah, first of all, we're watching Toy Story 4, which I'm gonna give a brief review after. Then we're going to the seaside, which is the second thing. And then the third thing is we are me showing you 11 blue ears to pick up from that exchange I was talking about earlier in the uh, in my other vlog video. So yeah, guys, that's it really. I'm gonna go and watch Toy Story 4. It's a absolutely beautiful day out there as you guys can see right there so yeah the beach is gonna be amazing um but yeah guys that's the really plan for today so about my hair looking fucking messy and shit i just don't really care about my hair at the moment it's so long and it's so annoying but yeah guys we're gonna go and watch toy story 4 it's one of my most anticipated movies of the year obviously the toy story franchise is is my childhood so yeah, guys we're gonna go and watch that heard non-stop good things about it so yeah, let's just see if it's as good as everyone's saying. I, I'm pretty 100% sure I'm going to like it. And I can't wait to see the Keanu Reeves character because I've heard he's amazing. And yeah, guys, looking forward to see all that slinky and that stuff. Um, all my favourite characters, some of my favourite Pixar movies. And it could be one of my favourite Pixar movies. So you guys, leave a like on the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you at the cinema. Then I'll see you at the beach. Then I'll see you back here where I'll show you some blurries I picked. So now guys we are going to get into the review for Toy Story 4 um, So yeah just got out of the cinema we're going to give it a review And then I'm going to go over a few Blu-rays right there I pick up after the seaside segments of the video Before that we're going to get into Toy Story This is a spoiler free review so if you have not watched Toy Story Don't be worried um, you're not going to be spoiled about anything in the movie Obviously I would do that to you guys But yeah so sorry if the camera's a bit lopsided I'm actually... We're in a really weird camera location, but I thought it'd be nice to have the sun, beautiful blue sky in the background. But yeah, I'm actually filming my brother's bed and we're um, on top of a like a jug. So it's a really weird way of doing my camera, but that's, it's, it's the best I've got with the equipment I've got. But yeah, guys, so Toy Story, I'll, I'll stop yabbering on and get into the Toy Story review. So first of all, to say this movie is anticipated is an understatement. This is one of my, my most anticipated movies of the year. You know, it's up there with Endgame, Rise of Skywalker. Um, so this movie is huge and probably Pixar's biggest release for a long time or Incredibles 2, you know, depending on if you're on which side. I'm in, I'm in between. I love both franchises. But yeah, just came out of it. Well, I didn't just came out of it. It was earlier I came out of it and um, blown away. Absolutely blown away. Everything about this movie was perfect. There wasn't one scene where I could have said it could have been cut. There wasn't one scene where I could have said this could be better. The animation, like, if you just watch this movie, if you're going to watch this movie again, or if you're going to watch it for the first time, just look at their faces during the movie. You've got these face gestures that are just like, it's almost like they're human and they're real. It, it, it's crazy. The CGI and the animations now, you know, we saw it in The Good Dinosaur in the background. Um, we saw it in The Incredibles and we're seeing it in Toy Story and we saw it in Coco. The animation is going out of the park and Pixar are just blowing out of the park with the new animation. Yeah, Disney can fuck off with all their CGI crap, whatever they're doing. Um, Pixar's where it's at. Disney, I'm sorry, you're letting me down at the moment. And Pixar, I'm on, I'm, I'm on team Pixar, I guess, if you could say that. Um, because Disney are just really annoying me, and it's, I, I want to rant about it so much, but I'm not going to. Yeah, the new Lion King may be good, but yeah. Anyway, so yeah, Toy Story. Um, yeah, that's really it for what I've got to say. Loved it, absolutely loved it. It's probably my favorite, it is my favorite movie of the year so far. Um, amazing i really hope it wins best animated feature because it really really deserves it just just amazing very emotional at the end this is one of the probably the most emotional movies i've ever watched because the toy story franchise it's a franchise that i've grown up with you know i've grown up with one two and three and at the end of three i did cry in cinema and this is no exception this movie is so 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 sad the ending scene is done perfectly um couldn't floor anything about it so if you want to go and check out toy story Check it out. I'd, I'm going to go ahead and get this movie 9.5 out of 10. I believe it deserves that high of a rating. I'd give it 5 out of 5. Just perfection. Absolute perfection. Couldn't couldn't floor it. It's absolutely amazing. Um, Just, yeah, just amazing movie. Go check it out. Probably my top 5 Pixar movies, if I've not already said that. Yeah, just incredible. So, you guys, just want to apologise for the time, timeline of this movie. You'll probably notice that I'm wearing the same clothes in both segments because I've had to split up the segments. So, yeah, um, the timeline is a bit... Fox, I guess, like the X-Men franchise. I'm just like the X-Men franchise right now. 
the whole the whole video is kind of a mismatch of different things. But yeah, guys, basically the video format is me um watching Toy Story. I just gave my review. Now I'll see you side. Then I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna go over Blu-ray pickups that I picked up early, earlier in the week. Just want to make that clear so you guys don't get mixed up. But yeah, guys, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> If you guys want to see more in-depth reviews, leave it in the comments down below because I feel like I'm not very good at reviewing movies. So I'm just going to cut to the point and say Toy Story 4 is amazing and I'll definitely go and check it out. It is one of my favorite movies um, because, you know, I, I don't really know how to, you know, describe it. But yeah, the Cinto crew was there, whatever, and um, all that sort of good stuff. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed those sort of miss, mix and match of things I did at the seaside. Obviously, I showed you the arcades, the, the fun fair and all that sort of good stuff. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy that little montage. I'll be doing more of that sort of good stuff in the future. But yeah, guys, now we're going to head out, go ahead and um, look about some of the recent Blu-ray pickups I did pick up. Yeah, let's get into what I picked up at the Seaside. So first thing up I did pick up, some cheap aftershave for um, three quid. This isn't movie related, but I thought I'd show it anyway. Privé Man, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I guess you guys are really interested in that. Um, some crappy aftershave, it was three quid. So yes, very interesting. But the thing you were looking for in this video, I did actually pick up three posters. Um, these are maxi size posters. Um, this one is, I'm not going to unroll them now because I'm on holiday, so when I get home, obviously I won't unroll them, but this is Infinity War, which is the standard one sheet artwork. This is Pulp Fiction, and this is Toy Story 4, because I'm going to put this poster up in my room because it's one of my favourite recent movies. So yeah, Pulp Fiction, Toy Story 4, and Infinity War posters to put up in my room. I do want to get some more art house movies posters put up in my room because I don't want to look like I'm just a mainstream boy. Um, but yeah, I, w I really want to get some house posters. Leave in the comments down below where I could get them from. I'm pretty sure eBay is the best best option. But I do want to get some original prints because um, I've got mostly original prints in my room, or I did because I used to ask for film posters. But recently, I guess because I'm getting older, people have stopped giving me posters as much, which is kind of sad. But yeah, three great posters. And obviously the Pulp Fiction is the regular Pulp Fiction artwork. And then the um, Toy Story 4 poster is just Woody with like holding his hat off his head like a cowboy. It's pretty cool. So yeah, Toy Story 4 again, I mean, loved it and I've got the poster of it because I'm really, really loving, love that movie. And first of all, my charity pickup, my Blu-ray charity pickup was Senna, um, a racing movie. Rush is one of my favourite movies of all time, so this is, um, looks really good. So I don't think it's a UK version because it doesn't have the age rating and inside it actually says rated M, as you can see right there. I don't know where that's from, is it Danish or something? Um, 
it doesn't actually say on the background. But yeah, got this for one ninety nine. I believe the British Heart Foundation and your charity shops are just great because you're getting a Blu-ray and you're also getting money to charity so it's a win-win situation and yeah Senna obviously one of the best races of all time so Sienna Senna I don't know how to say it but yeah I heard this movie is great and I'm really happy to pick it up another racing movie which I, I, I think I'm going to enjoy now we're going to get um, get into our exchange pickups first one is the imitation game Benedict Cumberbatch um, sorry if the lighting is not great but sorry it's just the sun but yeah when I get hit obviously the lighting will be way better uh, but yeah I've not watched this one, but I've heard the soundtrack and I love the soundtracks. Or like uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, Kira Knightley, enough said. This movie is gonna be really good. And obviously, I think pretty sure it did win Oscars. Um, yeah, got five stars in the Independent, and it's one of the best films in British, best British films in the years. So yeah, really looking forward to this one. That is Imitation Game. And by the way, all of these titles were twenty two quid in total. So I think if there are ten, that's like two twenty a title, which is really good. Um, so yeah, Imitation Game for two twenty. I'll take that any day of the week. Next one is Leonardo DiCaprio in the Gate Great Gatsby. Obviously, ignore the price labels. This was two twenty. Um, but yeah, um, Leonardo DiCaprio, Tobey Maguire, Carrie Mulligan, Joel Edgerton. So a very very good cast. I've heard mixed things about this movie, but you know it's it looked really good, and it was one of the only ones. This was one of the last ones I picked up, and I was like, I'm just gonna give it a go. But yeah, the Great Gatsby, and obviously it's from the um director of, director of Romeo and Juliet and Moulin Rouge as well, Moulin Rouge. So yeah, look, really look forward to watching this one. It also does have Jason Clarke in it as well. He's a really good actor. He, he's been in some great films like Paddock, First Man, loads of other things, Terminator Genesis. Um, but yeah, great Gatsby. Um, next one is Will Smith. Never been a huge fan of Will Smith, but this is Iron Legend. Um, I've heard pretty decent things about this movie. Not watched it, but Will Smith, my favourite movie of his, is probably has to be Independence Day. I also love him in the Men in Black movies. But yeah, I've never been a huge Will Smith fan. Nor Jaden Smith. Obviously, Afterbirth was a mess. But yeah, um, I'm Legends. Look forward to picking this one up. It's just the regular, you know, the regular um, Blu ray disc inside there. Same with The Great Gatsby. Next one we do have was Steven Spielberg's Tintin. An amazing movie. And kind of, you know, when this was announced, I was really optimistic since I know that Tintin, the original cartoons, were amazing. So um, getting a really good Tintin film, but obviously when I heard that Steven Spielberg was directing, I was pretty faithful, and obviously with Peter Jackson as well, so I was faithful and it delivered. It's an amazing movie, um, and this is the Blu-ray DVD, so it comes with the Blu-ray DVD, and it's also a digital download, which I have no clue if it's used, but there you go, someone can... Try that digital download and see if it works. I don't know if it's, it's an exchange, so it may have been used, it may not have been used. Next one we did pick up was the last one without a set cover, and it's Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. Really thought the first one was really enjoyable. I haven't checked out the new one, but I've heard terrible things about it. But yeah, The Golden Army, obviously, Del Toro's, um, you know, vision of Hellboy, and I really enjoyed the first one, and I ha don't own the second one on Blu-ray, so for two twenty, I, I I had to say, why not, you know? Why, why not? For a really, well, I've heard it's a really good movie on Blu-ray uh, for 220. Really, really nice. Yeah, all these for 220. I'm so happy with them. Um, next one is um, a movie that I didn't actually love, but I thought I'd have to have it in my collection as the Inbetweeners movie two. The Inbetweeners movie one is actually amazing. I really enjoyed that one. Obviously, the movies aren't as good as the actual series, but um, yeah, Inbetweeners movie two kind of disappointed me. It was, it was, it was okay. It was better than the crappy re reunion thing they did. But, yeah. Um, in between this movie, too, with a slipcover. Um, so I kind of just had to pick it up because I've already got the first one. Um, but, yeah, there you go. In between this movie, too. And then the dig digital download, which I'm actually going to give to someone rather than um, rather than give it away. I'm very sorry. Well, I'll try and give another di digital download away. Next one is a film that Archie has actually told me is really good. And I couldn't pass this lenticular up. And that is Legends... There you go. Um, really, really nice. Um, like, blue to red lenticular. I guess there's two personalities in the movie, and one blue, and it's blue and one is red. Um, but yeah, Tom Hardy, a, a great actor. You know, you can't say he's not. Um, and this looks really good. Um, it's just a regular Blu-ray inside. Inside, you just got the regular Blu-ray disc. But yeah, lovely lentic lenticular on there. Really, really like that. I, I, I think that's a really, really nice lenticular. You know, really nice lenticular. Third to last one we did pick up was Natalie Portman in Black Swan. Um, it's actually got a really bad um, thing on the slipcover there, but 
yeah, it's fine. It's a really nice, like, matte finish on slipcover. Like, really nice. Uh, but, yeah, it's actually a clear Blu-ray case, which is really cool. It's got loads of discs. It's got the Blu-ray disc, the DVD, and then the digital download, I guess. Is that a digital download? Oh, yeah. God, that's quite hard to get in. There you go. That's a digital download. Digital download. Um, pause it and see if it works. Yeah, that is Black Swan with a slipcover um, and a really nice spine as well. So, yeah, really happy to pick Black Swan up. Second to last video pick up was Denzel, Washington, and Ryan Reynolds in Safe House. But Dad tells me this is pretty good. So, I'm looking forward to watch this one. Um, and it's got a really nice embossing on the spine as well and a nice glossy slipcover. Denzel, one of my favourite actors. Um, so. Yeah, um, look forward to watching this one and with a slipcover as well. I was really happy to buy it. I've seen this one for surrounding Poundlands, but obviously this is a slipcover, so I want that more um, with a slip. Last one is probably my one I'm most happy with, and that is Steve Jobs with Michael Fassbender, one of my favourite actors. Love him as uh, Professor X. Um, I actually thought um, he's been in, obviously, in some terrible movies like the Assassin's Creed movie. Um, what was the other one? Um, and The Snowman, which was one of the boringest movies I've ever watched. But yeah, this one looks really good. And look at all those reviews as well. Really good. Um, and this is a slipcover as well. So you cannot go wrong. You cannot go wrong with that. There you go. Um, yeah. Seth Rogen's in this as well. But yeah, look forward to watching this one. And I've heard great things about this. So really looking forward to watching that. So yeah, there's my blurry haul from The Exchange. All these are 22. And then you've got, um, oh no, sorry. This is my Blu-ray haul from The Exchange. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 The Exchange. They were 2 50 each. And then Senna, Siena for two quid. So I ended up spending 24 movies and got 11 titles in the end, which I, I think is really reasonable. Got this. And then the three posters as well. Um, so yeah, guys, that's going to conclude my video. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Sorry about the bad lighting. Obviously, when I get home, the lighting's going to be way better. Just struggling with places to film. But I hope you enjoyed this sort of a vlog thing, whatever this video is. Um, there have been loads of different things in this video. So yeah, guys, just one more thing. A few, Actually, a few more things I want to say. First of all, to the giveaway winners. Please drop in the comments of this video how you want to message me. Just make it really clear so I can know, so I can get go home tomorrow and pack those things up and get them shipped out to you guys because I really want to do that as quick as possible. Um, and another thing is, I just want to say it again, I say it in every video, but I, I, I think I, I feel like I have to say it. Thank you for the support. Um, it, it, it's been crazy how many new subscribers I'm getting, and I welcome you to all to the channel. I've got some great um, videos planned, and um, yeah, it, it's just amazing how you guys help me with my channel. And yeah, guys, that's all I really have to say for this video. I feel like I don't show my appreciation enough, and I don't know how to show it more, but you guys are amazing. You just, yep, yeah, there's maybe not loads of you compared to other YouTubers, but again, I'm going to say it again, for me, it, it's great. Um, and one more thing is how do I add tags to my videos because I know that those can really help with getting subscribers and stuff. I'm kind of confused about that, guys. So leave that comment in the down below, in the comments down below. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you like enjoyed this new video and I hope you, you're enjoying these new sort of videos. More personal and more, I guess, creative videos rather than just Blu-ray hunting, Blu-ray hauls. You know, um, I'm really enjoying making them as well. So yeah, guys, leave a like on the video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you do want to. If you don't want to, that's completely fine, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.